Yeah. Countex 2023, we are on day one. I'm thrilled to have with me to do two legends in a very new business. It's Joe Wood and Zoe Whitman. Good day to you. Hello. Hi. Zoe. Tell us your part in this whole new venture that you've got going on. Do you know, we've been doing this for three years or so now, and uh, Joe and I host the Bookkeepers podcast. We're really here to bring community to bookkeepers. So we're here at Accountex because we want to bring people together in real life. We see each other online a lot, and we really want to help bookkeepers to build their confidence and their belief in what they do and see that they can stand at the table with accountants because everyone here is here for bookkeepers as well. We just need to make that happen. We're trying to like close the gap in it. And I said new, Joe, but you have been going a while, but it feels like it's just beginning to emerge now and get some traction. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've had to go on a bit of a confidence journey ourselves. You know, we didn't set out with having 13,000 bookkeepers and accountants in a free Facebook community. When we started back in early 2020, we had like 68 people and that's when we started our podcast. So we were talking to nobody for quite a while. Um, and then as our confidence grew, as we realized that the message was resonating with people and actually there were bookkeepers out there, lots of them solopreneurs working from home alone without anyone to talk to about the issues that they had they started coming out of the woodwork and then we started getting more and more guests and people that wanted to join us and then the Facebook community grew and grew and we've just we're having the best time and we've created a community that you know myself I, I, I run a practice and I need this community to help me grow my business and answer the questions I don't have all the answers whatsoever they we've got so many amazing people that I can call upon for those technical issues where I'm not great get those those bits of confidence when you feel like you're having a bad day um, it's just it's we've done this um, out of fun and it's become a business that we didn't really expect it to be um, and we're really really pleased and happy and proud and that's the point Zoe isn't it there's a there's an element of isolation with many bookkeepers a lot mm. of them are women that's the community you've got there and pandemic just separated everybody so we're all on our own we're all working out of a bedroom or a kitchen table and you've galvanized this whole community of people, not just for collaboration, but that sense of uh, we can do this and we can raise our game and we can mm. serve the businesses almost like the accountants are. Yeah, and I think actually this, people have been working in isolation for a really long time, uh, but we maybe haven't seen it because we maybe bookkeepers didn't have the voice that they used to have. So we're really encouraging bookkeepers to say, hey, I'm here, what I do is really important and helps businesses so much and give them the confidence to grow and set the goals. You know, Jo tells me stories of when she was bookkeeping and working from an ironing board. And, and you know, I know that that is a really common, that's probably the really common way that people start their businesses when you're trying to find flexibility around family. And, and maybe you see it as, you know, something, a little something that you do on the side rather than the business that it has the potential to be. So we're trying to encourage people to push themselves really. Tell us a little bit, Joe, about the journey of wanting to elevate bookkeepers because daily bookkeeping is becoming more and more important. Businesses want sight of their finances. We know that times are tough. We know that economic conditions are harsh. Bookkeepers have their finger very much on the pulse of a business, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it was only when I became a business owner myself rather than a practice owner that I realized the value of what that I did for my own business. I have been on this journey. I started over 20 years ago in an accountancy firm, working in audit, um, had my first child. My son is now 20, my eldest. And when I wanted that flexibility and I had this idea that bookkeeping was this dumbed down version of accountancy. A second class. Citizen. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and I had that I had that feeling and I went and started my bookkeeping practice with pride completely fell flat on my face because I had no idea what I was doing because accountancy is not the same as bookkeeping but I had this idea that like that's what I was taught that was the culture around bookkeeping that it was something that little wifey does in the corner and it's kind of simple you can easily do it around the kids and I failed I didn't just fail once I failed four times in my business I was building it and then I took on clients I didn't have ideal clients I was doing I was taking on all of the um, software that was available, just letting the clients dictate to me what it was. And I grew, I had a team of 14 people, but I earned no money, I burnt out. So I am passionate. When I had done the work on how to actually build a profitable, flexible business, I've got three children, I work from home, I've got a team of 12, I'm a multi six figure business while running this business as well. I couldn't keep that to myself because I'd had two decades of struggles and trying to figure it out, investing tens of thousands of pounds in coaches that, to teach me business. 
But what happened was when I understand how to run my business, it meant I could help my clients run their businesses better and therefore I could charge more. And it kind of, so I couldn't hold that secret. It felt like I finally got there. And so that's where the passion to help bookkeepers started was I need to find a way that I can help other bookkeepers not have to go through decades of struggle, heartache, hospital trips because of burnout and being poor like literally I had no money so that's where that's where I had this thing I needed to share the secret sauce and that's where the passion comes from. You should be more passionate about it. <laughs> you should talk it up a little bit more Joe. Is this passion part of the part of the game here? 100% well, I, you're equally passionate uh, as well, yeah. I mean 100% you know we when we met Joe uh, we were at an, a, a conference and I think Joe sort of reflected before on going to those kind of events, maybe a bit like this, and feeling like, great, I'm learning all this stuff, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to be completely on my own, and then what do I do? What do I do with it? And the momentum is lost. Yeah. And at that event, Joe came up to me and said, "Hey, I've got this great idea. I want to help other bookkeepers. Like, can we collaborate in some way?" And and her passion is the reason this happens now because I I was like, please stop pounding me. You know, <laughs> um, you know like I think that that is the challenge. Like some. We talk about confidence, but even that, that, having the confidence to be like, hey, I can stand out here and do something slightly different than no one else is doing here, that is that is growth to be able to do that. So, yeah, absolutely. I think we've you know come together and we've, we complement each other so well in so many ways. And Accountex is such a great showcase for what you're doing. Yeah, but I mean, I only came to my first one last year and there wasn't as many of us. There was some of us, but I haven't yeah. been many times because I didn't think we belonged. And that's the... That's the thing, we, we, we are trying to carve away a place for bookkeepers to stand alongside their accountancy friends and colleagues, complement each other's businesses and like help each other out because there's so much work out there. It's collaboration over competition and that means not just in the bookkeeping space but bookkeepers to accountants as well. There's so much that we can all learn from each other and I did feel that, I mean, we definitely bring the pink to the blue account hex but I, I do feel that we had to kind of be really pink and say this is a place for female entrepreneurs as well this is a place for mothers this is a place for parents who want flexible working this is people place for if you want to build a business that works around health issues or caring for your family this business is great but it doesn't have to be a compromise it doesn't have to be oh well I've got the flexibility so I can't earn any money and I think we have to learn this. I was talking to my best friend the other day and she's a dance teacher and she said, I've always heard, you know, you don't be in this business for money. You know, you don't teach for dance for money. And she said, that's why I'm, I'm skint all the time. And so I think we've got to try and change the narrative around the fact that, yes, you can have flexibility, but you can also be profitable. Yeah. And final words from you, Zoe, what excites you most about what's coming up for you guys for the next few years? We, you know, we've we've done a lot of up leveling. I see over the last couple of years, like we've um, we had a, a great program that we we stood behind for a really long time, and actually has been completely reviewed and updated to support bookkeepers with you know just making it more current, really. And that there's a lot happening behind the scenes to improve some of our courses, improve the way we support our bookkeepers, but also to really build the community. We led with, hey, look, like bookkeepers need to have business skills, but what we found on the back of that is that bookkeepers actually need community. They join us because they they think we have a program that's going to help them and it definitely does that but the, they stay with us because they meet all of these business friends who help them and support them and who can get them through those tough times as well as celebrate those amazing times so we're at Accountex because of community everything we do is about bringing people together got the community got the podcast got the pink <laughs> we are good to go with Zoe Whitman Joe Wood thank you so much for your time today oh.